This is Bruce Silver with the fourth and final installment in our series on IBM BlueWorks Live, where we're going to discuss its team collaboration features. Let's go into our project workspace and add another member of our team, Mr. Pink, to the space. Since I am authorized to manage the space, I can do that through the Users tab on the Space Details page. For process improvement projects, we want to focus on the Blueprint Processes column. So far, just Shelley and I can edit process information in the space. I could allow that for everyone with edit rights in my company's BlueWorks Live account, but I don't want to do that. I just want to add my colleague, Mr. Pink. So clicking the Add button, I do that. Now, upon logging in, Mr. Pink sees that I am currently online and we can collaborate in real time. Presence detection is a key feature of BlueWorks Live. Now, I only added him to this project, so when he clicks on the Library Processes tab, he just sees the processes in this project. We're working together on the hiring as is process. He enters it in view mode, but he knows I want him to help me edit the diagram, so he clicks the Edit button. Mr. Pink is from the HR department, and he knows the details of this as-is process. I could have sent a link to this screen, but I can see he is currently online and viewing this process. So I sent him a real-time chat, asking him to take a look at the screen and interview portion. Mr. Pink gets the text right away and answers he'll take a look and change it if necessary. He's looking at the same diagram I am. He expands screen and interview and notices a problem. Review resumes is actually done by the recruiter, not by the hiring manager. He tells me that via chat and then simply makes the change on his end. And here's what I see on my screen. Our threaded chat discussion, as well as the change to the diagram. With BlueWorks Live, multiple users can work on the same model simultaneously. None of that tedious check-in, check-out locking is needed. This gives a real boost to collaboration and business user engagement. Mr. Brown is the hiring manager. He is not authorized to edit models in our project space, but I would like him to verify what we have. I see he is online, so I send him a chat message. By making this model shared, I allow all members of my company's BlueWorks Live account to view it. Here's Mr. Brown's screen. In our project space, this is the only process he has access to, and it's read-only. He has no edit button, but that's okay. We just want him to review and comment. He can expand the subprocesses to look at the details. He adds his feedback as a comment. It looks good. The Space Details page captures all of this interaction in the activity stream. The comments made by Mr. Brown, the changes made by Mr. Pink, even the act of sharing the model by me. Everyone on the team stays up to the minute on any changes or comments on the project simply by looking at the activity stream. So, let's just recap the great collaboration capabilities of BlueWorks Live. We have presence detection, real-time chat, simultaneous editing of the same model, sharing models with stakeholders outside the immediate project team who can view and comment, and capture of everything in the activity stream. We didn't have to do anything to integrate these features. They're all built into BlueWorks Live.
Well, that concludes this four-part video series. I hope it was helpful to you. Here are some sources of additional information. IBM has loads of information on the BlueX Live website. They add new features several times a year, so that's your best source of the latest information on BlueX Live. You also see the URL for my white paper covering many of the themes in this video. If you want to understand how to use BlueX Live in conjunction with the proven process improvement methodology, I highly recommend the BPI Blueprint by Shelley Sweet. And here's a link to its page on Amazon.com. Shelley and I also did a six-part training video on getting started in BPM with BlueX Live, available for free from IBM. You see the URL here for that. And with that, I thank you.